from a forward to a guard, lower the, <laughs> lower the microphone. Well, first of all, I'd like to thank the ownership, Jeff, and everyone for instilling the confidence uh, to offer me this position, and I'm very excited about it. My wife is excited that I'll be in the U.S. instead of Korea next year, and she came along with me. Uh, today, I'm happy she's here. And both of us are starting new jobs. She'll be a new superintendent in Lamont, and uh, I'm going to start a new career here in Fort Wayne. And hopefully they'll both go in, in the right direction. Um, always been a fan of coming to Fort Wayne. Uh, not because we had success here, because of the way we were treated. Front office people, the staff, the scorers table, I have a great relationship. I always tell them every time I come, great to see the second best scorers table in the league. Well, now I can tell them it's great to see the best scorers <laughs> table in the league. But uh, it's always fun to come here. All we need to do is put a product on the floor. The fans are hungry. I've been doing this a long time. Uh, I think it's 10 years or 11 years as a head coach. Been in the playoffs all but one year. And that year was the old CBA with the crazy quarter points. We had three more team, three more wins than the team that got in the playoffs ahead of us because of quarter point system. And I'm sure the old Fort Wayne Fury people remember those days. And uh, I, that was the first time I came in here was uh, with Rapid City and, and played the old Fort Wayne Fury. Yeah. And uh, that, was, that was fun and that was my first experience here. The arena's changed, the atmosphere is great as always. And I think when we put a product on the floor that you can be proud of, uh, this arena is just going to grow and grow and get louder and louder and become a true home court advantage for the people of Fort Wayne. And the team deserves that. The players deserve that. They're going to work hard. Um, you know, we've got upgrade personnel. It's not a secret. And it's not a secret. Players win championships. Coaches don't win championships. Team, teams win championships. Individual talent doesn't win championships. You know, you can have the five best players in the world. If they don't play together, you're going nowhere. Uh, people need to understand their roles. There's no one in the D-League going to go to the NBA next year and average 20 points. But they might be Greg Steensman and go in and block three shots in a yeah. playoff game and get 10 points and eight rebounds. And Greg played for us in Sioux Falls. You know, and those are the kind of guys that understand their roles. Greg was Defensive Player of the Year in the D-League and it, because he accepted what he needed to do to get to where he wanted to go. And if you can have your players understand that, that you know, you're going to have some guys score, some be distributors, some rebound, some defend. And if everybody does their job, the team will have success. And you know what? NBA scouts, NBA front office people, they look for one thing, success. They don't care if you score 28 if you don't win. They want people to win. And I, that's what we plan on doing here. You know, I've had went into some other situations similar to this. I went up to Dakota the first time. I actually coached up there two different times. They had the worst record in the league, and we turned around and, and went undefeated at home and only lost six games. And then I went into Gary, same situation, worst record in the league, and you know we, we turned it around and, and had success, had the best record ever, and then the second year we got into playoffs. So, you know, it's a stepping stone. It's a progress. It's not an overnight thing. But players have to understand what's expected of them. They will know what's expected of them when they come into practice. And you know what? If they don't want to do it my way, I'll guarantee you there are a thousand players that want his job. So if they don't want to do it the right way, they will not be in Fort Wayne. They're going to do it the right way. And if they do it the right way, we'll have success here. I firmly believe that. And uh, you know, I wouldn't have came here if I didn't think we could have success. And you know, I've, I've known Jeff since the beginning of this, this uh, Fort Wayne Mad Ants operation, and him and I have always had a great relationship. And one guy can't do it by himself. You know, trying to do all the personnel and one guy trying to coach. Well, it's got to be a team effort. And I think Jeff and I are going to have a great working relationship, and we're going to build on it every day. And I'm happy to tell, say that Steve's going to stick along with me. I'm, I'm really happy that he's going to be part of it. Um, he got put in a tough situation last year, and I don't want to see some young guy have his career go down. So you're my guy. Now, you've got to do what you got to do, because you, you've got the potential to be a heck of a coach, and we want you to get there, and I'm going to help you every way I can. All right. So uh, as far as that is, uh, that's really all I have. If anybody has questions, I'll try to answer them. Um, I'm happy to be here. I think the city's great. Um, like I said, I, I was excited the first time I came here. I'm even more excited now. So 
Um, I'll open it up to anybody that's got anything. If not, um, I know we're going to have some breakouts.